Get over to Justin Brutusell. Hey, Justin. Good morning, you guys. It's uh, all quiet here this morning. If you're heading off to work, a little bit of sunshine, not much in the way of humidity, and not much wind uh, to speak of as well. A south wind at around 5, 64 degrees. A live look from American Fidelity looking downtown Oklahoma City from Pike Bass Skycam Network. That dew point of 54, quite nice for this time of the year. Temperatures upper 50s to low 60s out towards the east, a little bit warmer middle to upper 60s across western half of the state. A little bit of a south breeze, but not too bad. Moderate amounts of humidity, 85 degrees, 87, 92 by uh, 9 o'clock or 4 o'clock by 94. We'll top out with a south breeze at around 15 to 20 miles an hour. Your out the door forecast, 94 degrees by tomorrow, 93 on Saturday with a south breeze at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. As again, is this main weather here, you guys? Okay, we're doing lots of sunshine for the days to come as again big bubble of high pressure is going to be dominating our weather for many days and we're going to be starting to warm temperatures up here quite rapidly here across the state we'll start today 94 degrees for an afternoon high 94 in Stillwater, 93 in Tulsa, 93 in Ada, some upper 90s here across western half the state and again that south breeze that'll pick up at around uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour area of high pressure jet stream off towards the nor north clockwise spin of high pressure. A couple things we'll watch here closely. We've had a boundary here with the tropical moisture. We haven't been that humid all week long. We've been enjoying nice mornings, evenings, and the afternoons hadn't been hot and humid, but that front is kind of weakening and that'll allow the floodgates of the moisture to head to the north along with this area of tropical uh, disturbance, a little wave of low pressure that'll bring in the tropical moisture and maybe enough trigger in the atmosphere to dodge a couple showers and thunderstorms over the weekend. Doesn't look widespread and some of the data says we are completely dry, but it is a holiday weekend. It's the 4th of July. I'm gonna put a, at least a chance of a pop-up shower and thunderstorm because of the moisture that is surging to the north. You can see tropical moisture 70s. That is putting into the very humid category. So your 4th of July forecast for the weekend into the 4th on Monday. Overall, hot, humid, great pool weather, great lake weather, a little bit of a south breeze, but not too strong of a south wind to make that lake water too choppy, but it'll bring a little bit of a breeze out there, increasing humidity, and I'll throw in a 10% chance here across the metro of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm on Sunday. But we will all see the heat and humidity really start to affect us as we head towards next week as those heat indexes will be approaching 105 to 110 across portions of the state. We'll first notice the humidity tonight. We've been in the 50s and 60s for overnight lows. How about the upper 60s to low 70s under a south breeze? Middle 90s again, upper 90s off towards the west. So copy and, copy and paste uh, forecast with high temperatures the next couple of days. Isolated shower and thunderstorm coming out of Kansas Friday evening and overnight, weakening. Saturday, a couple more clouds. So I've dropped the temperature a degree 93 for a high best chance of any rain northwest and southeast on Saturday Sunday central and east a pop-up shower and thunderstorm maybe out in the panhandle during the evening hours but overall pretty dry looking forecast over the next nine days no 100 degree high temperatures yet here across Oklahoma City we won't do it over the weekend with increasing humidity low to mid 90s but we will try the middle of next week so here comes the heat